Christina here, New York Country Swag. We are with Ray Lynn today, and we have so many exciting things to talk about. So Baytown is almost here. I'm so excited. Thank you. Just kind of tell us, like, what fans can expect from this new collection of music and kind of, you know, how you picked, and I know you wrote all songs, so, like, how you picked and wrote these songs throughout the past couple of months and to get it ready for fans to hear. Yes, so Baytown is the name of the town that I grew up in in Texas, and um, what's creating these songs or the song list and thinking about what I wanted to name this body of work, Baytown just seemed like the most just fitting title because it's honestly another layer of who I am and a lot of the reason why I write the songs that I write and the sound of it and it sounding so different is because of my roots and how I grew up and where I grew up. And so I just felt like this new body of music really just showcases that new layer that I don't think a lot of fans have seen. Um, They see it on socials and stuff, but not when it comes to my music. And so that's what I'm excited about. Yes, I love that. That was actually leading right into my next question. So I feel like, you know, fans have seen you from such a young age and sort of grown up with you. And I love that they've had that opportunity to just listen to your music throughout the phases of your career. So as far as that, like, what you know you're saying it represents you like what what is different from the last group of music that they got to hear like how has it changed or how how have you matured in a new way that fans are going to be able to listen to this and be like oh this is different or this is new i think in in a lot of ways we've kind of all grown up together i mean i was 17 on the voice and you know the older you get for for me as a songwriter the more confident i get about saying certain things and the more you go through the more heartbreaks you go through, the more friend groups you go through, like you just, and all of that shapes who you are. And in, and if, as an artist, it's going to shape your songwriting. And so for me, as I've gotten older and as I've been in this industry almost 10 years now, um, I've, I'm just now more confident in my uniqueness and I don't, um, I rest in it rather than being like, oh, is this cool or is this not? I'm like, I don't really care because I want to, this is me. And so um, I think But it is, it is, that's one part that is hard about growing up and kind of like in front of everybody is you're still figuring yourself out. Like the person from 18 to, you know, even 22 is so different. And so you add 18 to 26, like you just change so much, especially like I've been married. I am married. We got married. I've like done so many different things and um, I've moved a few times. I've, you know, gone through like different things in my career so it all shapes you and um and my fan but the cool thing is about your fans seeing all of it is when something great does happen for you they're so happy for you because they feel like they've been a part of the journey which is really cool yes I mean just like life things have happened like you know not even as a musician or a songwriter just like life has happened and given you so much I'm sure to like think about and write about yeah. and, like getting into the studio or getting into you know a writer's room and uh-huh. sit down. now I want to definitely touch on me about me um so empowering and like relatable for anybody who's just felt like hey I'm over here you know what I mean yeah. like I don't care what I think or uh-huh. care about my life and one line that really struck me I'm gonna read it so I get it exactly right um the reason why I play guitar to help with my survival uh-huh. just me about that line I think um survival these past couple of months have been has just been really, really different yeah. the whole world. And I think, you know, how has music sort of um, gotten you through this oh, this whole time? Music, music is my heartbeat. And even when I don't feel grounded, like, or when I don't feel like myself, just getting on the piano and creating a melody or something like that has always like helped me get through weird times. And, um, and the reason why that's my favorite, favorite part of that song is, is because I feel like everybody has a reason why they do what they love. Everybody has a reason why they do their profession. And for me, music's more than just being an artist and being in the spotlight. Music is my survival. Like I write songs to help me get over things. Like I never knew how to process my parents' divorce. I never knew how to process those feelings. But then when I wrote Love Triangle, it was like writing it on a page and putting it to a song and to a melody help me process those feelings and so the same with me about me the same with fake girl town the same with those kind of songs it's like as as an artist the way that I mean as a person the way that I go through things is by creating is creating music around it 
So that's that's why I love that line of that song is because it really it's more to me than just music's more to me than just being an artist and singing a song. It's it is my survival. It's what makes me you know be able to do what I love every day. Yes, it's like the heart your heartbeat. Like I yes. love, that's just 100%. like this is me and this is this is what I'm going through and yes. you know, the world can can use kind of things like that. Like what is your survival? Like mine is music. What is your you know like kind yes. of. I think that's another way to be relatable. Like I know that's not a huge part of the song, but yeah. it, like, that line stuck out to me a little bit. So Thank I love you. that. Of course, of course. So finally, um, fans are getting to hear this new EP and it's like so exciting to have this new work of music out there. So what is the most, like, what would you want fans to take away from Baytown when they're done listening to the six songs? Like there are some fun songs. There are some really thr you know, thrilling songs, like things that obviously are your life for the past couple years, I guess. Mm -hmm. So what is like the one thing that you would want fans to take out of it? My biggest thing that I want fans to take out of this EP is just my journey. And, um, and a little, just really you can see another piece of my heart with this, with this record. Um, it really showcases my fun side, um, my sassy side, my side that is still madly in love with my husband, and my side that also um, loves country music and being an artist in country music and showcasing what I see, like how I portray my version of country music. And so that's what I just love about this EP is, and that's why I called it Baytown because where I grew up, Nobody else in this town in Nashville grew up. Nobody else grew up in Baytown. And that's what makes me different in this town is, is the imprint that that town had on my soul and on my heart and how I grew up with my family and the just the environment. And so taking that and then my relationships that I've built here and my career, like that's Baytown. That's this record. And, um, and I, when you hear this record, I know you're going to feel my whole, you're going to see and feel my whole heart. I love it. Well, we can't wait for fans to be Thank able to you. And this is going to go up like the night before. So we'll have a whole awesome. you know, ready. And we're so excited for just people to hear and to see the new Ray Lynn. And, and Thank you. It was great chatting with you. Thank great you. Great chat with you too, love.